Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, March 19th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. As the old saying goes, pressure either busts pipes or it makes diamonds. And I'll give three guesses to figure out which one of those sides veteran man Alexis Rulone falls on. Over the weekend, the former NPC national champ released another round of strong new updates. And when you look at how far he's come in the last few months and what it took to get him here, it's pretty incredible to see the resolve that this guy has. And if he can manage to pull off a win at some point, without question, it would be one of the true feel-good stories of the year. Listen, even though the Utah Jazz don't have a snowball's chance in hell at getting a sniff of the NBA playoffs this year, Hopefully, George Brown can breathe some life into the good people of Salt Lake City when he rolls into town a few weeks from now. Late last week, Brown released his latest progress photos a little less than four weeks out from the big day. And in typical George Brown fashion, he looks like he's coming in right on schedule. And when this guy is at his best, he's just good enough to beat just about anyone in the division. With everyone still buzzing about last weekend's Arnold Australia coverage, it's almost easy to forget that at this time last year, it was all about one person in the figure division, two-time defending Olympia champ Latoria Watts. After spending the first few weeks of the season playing the bench, late last night, the Watts camp quietly released a new progress photo, just to let the rest of the world know that the queen isn't quite dead yet. After grinding it out for almost three straight seasons, a little bit of rest is probably just what the doctor ordered. And as far as storylines go, being only the second woman in the history of the division to regain the figure Olympia title would rank right up there with the best of them. Stay tuned. There are some people who are willing to work their butts off for a lifetime in the pursuit of a single goal. And then there are others who roll out of bed every day and just go because it's in their DNA. Guess which one of these two Andre Ferguson is? Late last week, your 2018 Arnold men's physique champ dropped the post-show update photo for all his loyal fans, who I'm sure are still riding high after his monster performance. I don't think there should be any question about who the clear number one contender is right now. And if I were Jeremy Buendia coming off rehab, I think I'd probably keep an eye glued to my rearview mirror right about now. Because Andre Ferguson is on his way. I think one of the hardest lessons for me to learn as a young man was how to overcome adversity when I felt like all the chips were stacked against me. But from where I'm sitting, third year pro Nick Medici seems like he might already have this one mastered. After another long hiatus last week, the New York native resurfaced from out of nowhere with a clip from a recent back training workout. I reached out to some sources who tell me that Medici is sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of 245 pounds right now and allegedly still in pretty good shape. So as long as he can keep it together, there might be an outside chance that we see him jump into a competition at some point later this season. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.